Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you a demo slash review on the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop um, foundation. It is this beautiful foundation that I have on my face now. I'm not going to give any spoilers, so let's get on with the video. This bringing you fall vibes. It's giving me fall vibes all the way anyways <laughs> today we are going to do a first impression on this baby here this is the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation i couldn't get the primer because they were out of stock so i got the foundation okay <laughs> okay you guys so i did my brows off camera okay because your girl gotta get your eyebrow her eyebrows done and they take a little bit longer than usual and i know they're not perfect but we're just gonna roll with it okay okay and how comfy do i look like yes i love it and yes this is the same shirt from the other video don't judge me it's okay okay because we ain't going nowhere honey i did not prime that i didn't do because I wanted to show you guys that I'm switching up the primers. Why? Yay! But anyways, I have the Hard Candy Sheer Pore Defense Primer Serum. Smooth pores away, oil free, silicone free, alcohol free. <gasps> That's a mouthful. Primer. And it's this cute little guy right here. And we're going to add this to the cheeks. You guys already know. I'm going to add that. Ooh. Feels so good, and this does smooth. Oh, look at that! You guys see that? It is very smoothing. I just love this primer because, on top of the fact that it's smoothing, it doesn't feel silicone. -y, you know, it's a tiny bit tacky. This is why I, I mess with Hard Candy because I love the fact that they, their um, primers are a bit tacky. You know, so the foundation can stick to your face. And next, I'm going to go in with the um, Matte Rescue Primer by Benefits. This one smells amazing. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of my dad's, like growing up, my dad's um, shaving cream. Yeah, <laughs> that was weird, but that just came to mind. But yeah, this reminds me, yeah, it's of like my dad's shaving cream. Oh my gosh. Like the Gillette shaving cream. I've been trying to figure out like what does this remind me of because it every time I open the freaking thing and I smell it it reminds me of my dad and that's what it is it's his shaving cream that he used to use when we were growing up so funny okay guys so next we're gonna go in with the start of the show I'm pretty sure this matches this is my color this is my match but this is in the color nutmeg yes nutmeg and it says it's to up to 24 hours matte finish and it's a full coverage foundation okay oh that's how you know it's new because the sticker was still on there i'm gonna do let's start off with one pump on one side of the face that wasn't even a full pump but we're gonna work with it please be my color oh this looks a little bit dark but we're gonna oh no not really we're gonna roll with it i think this is my exact shade like i did try it out in store so if it's not my shade that's my fault to be honest because i did try to match myself in store before i got it but i've heard really good things oh i think it's gonna dry down really fast because it's already drying down oh my god this always happens. I like foundations that give me time to work it into my skin and don't dry down so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. But even though it's drying down pretty quickly, my skin like... Oh my gosh. I'm already liking this. Yes, foundation. You can see that. Um, I really like how this is... Ugh applying with a brush sorry but i'm not gonna go on with a beauty blender because i don't want to take away the 
cover it, the full coverageness of it because beauty sponges and beauty blenders tend to soak up a lot of product so yeah oh my gosh you guys look at this coverage yes coverage yeah just gonna clean my brow wow this applied nicely oh my gosh it's so weird because the people that I have, I have seen people, and this is a first impression by the way, like I have not tested this on my face or anything, but the reviews that I have seen on this, I've seen people with like, it's kind that they're kind of like shiny. This looks matte. Like, and I'm not a matte type of gal. Like I'm really not, even though I'm oily, it's weird. I'm oily, but I'm not a matte type of girl. Like, I don't really mess with matte foundations. But I like this. I really do. I like the fact that this has a pump. I like foundations that have pumps. So much easier to use. It's less messy. But I hate foundations that make a mess. I cannot stand it. You already know what I'm going to say, right? Always, always blend your foundation to your ears, down your neck. Ombre the foundation into the skin, okay? You don't want to look like you have a mask. And I'm going to say it until you guys get annoyed. Because I've done seen. If you do this, if you do not blend your foundation into your hairline, please do because we could see where the foundation stops, okay? And it's not cute, I'm sorry, but it's not cute. I've seen it on so many people and I want to go in with a brush. Like I wish I had a brush in my bag so I could just be like, come here girl, I got you. Let me, come here, let me fix this for you. Okay, I'm sorry. But, it's really nice. It is full coverage. Like it really is. I like this full coverage, but it's not cakey full coverage, you know? Um, it feels like nothing on the skin, to be honest. But I really like this foundation. I have nothing bad to say about it. And I think I did a pretty good job picking my shade. I think I might get another shade that's a bit lighter, just a bit, for when I'm not tanned. Um, because I feel like this is just a bit, just a smidge too dark for me, just a little bit. But I'm liking this. I like this foundation. This is a really, really, really good foundation. I like it so far. Okay, so next. So now that I have the foundation on, I'm gonna apply all of my makeup because I want you guys to see along with me how everything applies. And if everything sits on it, you know, pretty well. So next I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Concealers. And I'm going to use Caramel and Biscuits. And I'm going to go in with Caramel first. Looking back at my videos, the the one that I, the thing that I love the most is when I put on my concealers. And take away these dark circles. I feel like, oh, yes. You know, it's like, oh. <laughs> is the best thing for me to watch oh does this oxidize i feel like it looks a little bit darker yeah we're gonna go back and get another shade i feel like i look a little bit orange even in person <sighs> okay we're gonna blend this out and this is the morphe g6 brush yes the g6 brush I love this brush to blend out concealer. Usually whenever I do match my foundation in store, I like to swatch it and then walk around. Like if I'm at Ulta, keep walking around Ulta. And I like to like watch the foundation to see if it oxidizes. And with this one, I didn't do that. But I feel like it is oxidizing a bit on me. It's weird because I didn't see it oxidizing. When I saw the reviews on it, I didn't see it oxidizing on anybody this next foundation is in collab with Alyssa ashley on youtube she's amazing i love her i could have sworn her and i were the same shade but she's a little bit lighter than me into bronze 
And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Aqua Peach Bronze Bronzer. And I'm going to use this bronzer right here. The bronzer is applying very nicely. There's no patchiness that I've noticed. Or the bronzer isn't breaking up or anything. Which is pretty good. That's why I just wanted to use a bronzer that I'm very familiar with and I know how it works. Because uh, I feel like that's just fair, you know? Okay, now we're gonna go on with the Milani Big Bronzer. Bronzer? <laughs> and this, this is the shade Golden. Number six, Golden. And I'm gonna go, again go in with the same brush. Tap off the excess. And use circular motion to apply. The bronzer. The bronzers, both bronzers are applying very nicely on top of the foundation. So I'm very happy about that. And with the same e.l.f. palette, and I'm going to use this blush right here. And again, smile and add this. Circular motions. I feel like this foundation, even though it's matte, and it says that it's matte. It doesn't say that it's semi-matte. It says it's full coverage. It says that it's a 24-hour matte finish. And like I said earlier, I'm not a very matte type of girl, but I like the fact that I'm still like glowing. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shop Cheek in the color Cruel Intentions, which is this guy right here. Such a pretty shirt. There we go. Next, we're going to highlight. You guys, I get so excited about highlighting. That's like my favorite thing to do when it comes to makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. And of course, I'm going to use my tried and true trusty Morphe M501 brush. Yay! <laughs> but I'm going to go with the Got Me Beaming pretty packaging look at that oh, I love it got me beaming ColourPop um, highlighting palette and it's this guy right here I love how this goes back do you guys see that this is giving me Anastasia Beverly Hills vibes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go in with which one should I go in with you guys I'm gonna go in with prom queen this is my first time also using this, so I'm really excited about this. Oh my gosh. Oh my mm -hmm. Okay, prom queen. Okay, I see you, color ball. And I'm also gonna go in with group chat, cause it's just group chat or no type. And look at that. You guys know that I do not. I'm not subtle about my highlighter. Sorry. Whatever is left over on my brush, just tap off. I'm going to add it to my chin for that cute highlight effect. And I'm also going to add it to my forehead. Oh my god. You guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I have to say that everything applied to the face as normal as it always does and it's so beautiful at first i thought this foundation was oxidizing and it looked like it was oxidizing i think it's just a little bit too dark for me right now as uh, my fan my fan my tan is fading away but i am really liking this like this foundation really nice really good and it feels so good on the skin i like that it's matte but it's not like a flat dry matte you know and I love that it's full coverage as well, but it's not cakey full coverage. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? I hope that makes sense. But yeah, you guys, this is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. But yeah, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Someone asked me what loving tan i use i don't use loving tan this is my not my natural color but this is my tan color like when i sit in the sun and get tans or if i'm at the beach this is 
what color I get. So in case you were wondering, your girl does not use loving tan. I'm just not. Like I can't be. Like I, there's nothing in me that says, oh, go easy on the highlight today. It's like, no bitch, go, 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 go. 